Unraveling the mystery. The phrase, rack one's brains. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, rack one's brains. This phrase might sound a bit odd at first, but it's a colorful way to describe a common experience. Stay tuned as we explore its meaning, origin, and how to use it in everyday conversation. To rack one's brains means to think very hard or try to remember something with a lot of effort. It's often used when someone is trying to solve a problem, come up with an idea, or recall a piece of information that seems just out of reach. The key here is the effort and intensity of thinking involved, almost as if you're putting your brain through a workout. The origin of rack one's brains is quite interesting. The term rack refers to a medieval torture device used to stretch victims. While this image is quite grim, the phrase metaphorically suggests stretching or pushing one's mental capacity to its limits, rather than physical torture. It's a vivid way to describe the strain we feel when trying hard to remember or come up with something. Let's see, rack one's brains, in action. In conversation, I've been racking my brains all day trying to remember where I left my keys. In writing, the author racked his brains for the perfect ending to his novel. In professional settings, we need to rack our brains to come up with a solution to this issue by tomorrow's meeting. These examples show that you can use this phrase in various contexts, whether personal, creative, or professional. We hope this exploration of rack one's brains has been enlightening. This phrase is a great example of the richness of the English language and how it uses vivid imagery to express complex ideas. Next time you find yourself deep in thought, trying to solve a puzzle or remember something important, you'll know exactly how to describe the experience. Happy learning, and may you always find joy in expanding your language skills.